Do you also want the best FPS in Trackmania? I will show you the FPS I had before, and the FPS after optimization, but before, join, if you want to get access to my memberships perks, and subscribe, so you can be up to date with everything I post. First you need to go to my first link in the description, the link will take you to this page, here you have to press on update now. It will download here, when it is done, press on it, and press on open. This page will pop up. If you haven't updated your Windows yet, follow the steps to be up to date. Now let's jump into the game settings. When you are here in the lobby, go up here with your mouse, press on this icon. Then go to graphics. On the display device, select your video card. Customize. Check this. Preset. Select none. Shader quality. Select very low. Shadows. Select minimum. Texture quality, select very low. Display mode, select full screen. Resolution, select 1920 by 1080. Then on the quality, automatic, check this. Automatic minimum FPS, select 30. Maximum FPS, select 300. Forward anti-aliasing, select none. Texture filtering, select bilinear. Reflections on vehicles, Select Low. Bloom and Lens Flare. Select None. Use Motion Blur. Uncheck this. Vertical Sync. Select None. CPU and CPU Synchronization. Select One Frame. Then press here on Apply. Close the game. Go here. Type Graphics. Press on Graphics Settings. Make sure you have this on. Then press here on Browse. Search where you have your Epic Games folder. Then go to Trackmania. And this is the right file you need to find. First right click on it, press on Properties. Here you have to go to Compatibility. Check Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then go here to Change High DPI Settings. Check this box. Then press OK. Press Apply. OK. Then select it, press here on Add. When you have this here, press on Options. Here check High Performance. Press on Save. Go back here to Settings Home. Go to Gaming. On the Xbox Game Bar, select this to Off. Then on the Game Mode, select this to On, for the optimization from Graphics Settings to work. Now right click on the screen, press on NVIDIA Control Panel. This page will pop up. Go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Check Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings. Press Apply. Then go to Manage 3D Settings. Here we have to change some settings. Low Latency Mode. Select On. Open GL Rendering GPU. Select your video card. Power Management Mode. Select Prefer Maximum Performance. Texture Filtering Quality. Select High Performance. Threaded Optimization. Select On. And Vertical Sync. Select Off. Press Apply. Then go here to adjust desktop color settings. Scroll down to digital vibrance. Move this to 70%. Press apply. Close the page. Go here. Type run. Press enter. Here type temp. Then press ok. The temp folder is windows dump file location. Everything in this folder can be deleted and is not needed. Select everything from here. And delete them. Then go to run again. Type here percent temp percent. Then press OK. The same, delete everything from here. Go to run again, type here prefetch, press OK. This data allows programs to open faster by storing data on the file's location for quicker access in Windows. So select everything from here, delete them, then go here on the recycle bin, right click on it, press on empty recycle bin. Press OK. And you are clean. Now you need to have the ultimate performance guide on your PC, so go here, type CMD, right click on command prompt, and press on run as administrator. Then this page will pop up, here you have to paste a command, copy this command from my description, and just right click and paste it here, then press enter, and now you have the ultimate performance guide, but to activate it, you need to close the page, then go here, type choose, Press on Choose a Power Plan, then check Ultimate Performance, and now you have it activated. Now go to this website, 
you will find the link in the description. Scroll down until you see this download button. Press on the first one. It will download here. When it is done, press on it, and press on open. Double click on it. This page will pop up. Press next. Check this. Then press next. Next again. And install. Wait a few seconds. Make sure you have this checked. Press finish. It will open automatically. Now here on the system power plan. You have to select ultimate performance because that's how I set it before as you saw. Then here on the core parking. Drag this to 100%. Frequency scaling. Drag this to 100%. Turbo boost. Drag it to 100%. And performance. Also to 100%. Then press here on apply. Press OK. Close this page. Go to this website now. Timer resolution. Press here on free download. Then press on download now. It will download here. When it is done, press on it and press on open. Double click on this. And this little page will pop up. Now as you can see here on the current resolution is 1000 milliseconds. Press here on maximum. And now it will be half of these milliseconds. You just have to minimize this page and let it run in the background when you play the game. Then when you are done with the game, just press here on default. And close the page. hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.